top three ways to make sodium carbonate at home just using stuff that you have around your house. Sodium carbonate is super useful and if you don't have any, you can just make it. Sodium carbonate is really useful, and not just for people like me who do weird experiments. <laughs> I personally have used it both to make copper carbonate and climbing chalk, and my wife he has used it to clean our clothes. It's really useful. But first... Make sure you subscribe. We are Destructive Creativity. My name is Jonathan. And I'm Eliana. We exist for you, for science, and for fun. So if any of those things appeal to you, make sure you subscribe. It really helps us out. Okay, so... We have some stuff around our house that we've grabbed and we're going to make sodium carbonate for you. Method number one. First method, we're going to be baking baking soda. You probably have baking soda around your house. Baking soda, not baking powder. Don't make that mistake. Now, what you do is you just put some on a baking sheet and you'll bake it in the oven for an hour at 450 degrees. So what you're seeing is a decomposition reaction. So basically the baking soda is breaking down into sodium carbonate, carbon dioxide, and a little bit of water that gets evaporated in the oven. And when you take it out of the oven, it's going to look exactly the same, but is a very, very different substance. If you wanted to see the difference between sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonate, you could just mix up a really quick batch of magnesium carbonate, which is a really cool substance that is completely non-water solvable and it's a cool effect. So you can go watch our video, it's like up there or something. I don't know. Go find it! Magnesium carbonate. It's awesome. Method number two. This is more complicated and you do need to have some sodium hydroxide, which is lye. And lye is made, is used for making soap, so you might have some lye in your basement. If you don't have lye, you can just say that you do and then you're a liar. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Um, this is a cool, this is really cool because if you're using this as an experiment, this is a very strong exothermic reaction. So what you want to do, you start with baking soda and you're going to scoop in about three teaspoons of baking soda. If you have a scale, you can measure out 14 grams of baking soda into a cup or something. Put in enough water to dissolve it completely. So maybe 250 milliliters. You're going to stir it until the sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, has dissolved completely. After it's dissolved completely, we're going to add in the sodium hydroxide, which is the lye. And you're going to add in half of the amount of what you put in the baking soda. So if you put in 14 grams of baking soda, you're going to put in 7 grams of sodium hydroxide. Now as we stir this, it's, make sure you add it slowly, because it's going to get very, very hot. Uh, when we measured this last time, it went from about 17 degrees Celsius to 43 degrees Celsius almost instantly just by adding sodium hydroxide. When you've mixed all of it together, you end up with a solution of sodium carbonate. Now the sodium carbonate can be used then for reactions that require it in liquid form like copper carbonate, which is again a very cool chemistry experiment and you can go check it out up here. Step three, the easiest method by far. Yes, the easiest method to get sodium carbonate into your house is simply to go out and purchase a giant box of pure sodium carbonate. It, <laughs> this entire box costs like four bucks. It's not expensive. So I was doing chemistry experiments for a long time where I was making sodium carbonate from scratch. This is a lot easier. Just go buy it from any automotive store like Canadian Tire or Walmart or anything. You're going to be looking for washing soda. That was a lot of fun. I hope these answered your questions about how to make sodium carbonate at home. It is very useful stuff and I hope you learned something as well. We are Destructive Creativity. We exist for you, for science and for fun. If any of those things appeal to you, make sure you click that subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. See you next time. We have new stuff coming out every Wednesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.